I am Dr. Sharjeel and today I would like to show you three cases of post cataract surgery. Phaco emulsification was performed and they all have one complication. The most common and most important post op complication of cataract surgery, which is known as striate keratopathy. Now, now, if you look at the cornea of our first patient, there is edema in the cornea you can you are seeing the cross section and there are vertical and horizontal lines deep into the cornea now these vertical lines these are the decimates folds and on corneal section you can see fluid in the cornea as well but otherwise the anterior chamber iris details they are very clear and edema is also not that much marked so our first patient has got mild striate keratopathy and it will resolve within week with routine steroid antibiotic topical drops so in this patient the cataract was not that much hard and these stri are very common you may see in every third or fourth patient now what is striate Striate means lines and striate keratopathy means central corneal stromal edema causing a network of lines which occurs after cataract surgery due to endothelial cell loss. Now why endothelial cell loss occurs after cataract surgery? Well definitely when you make incisions into the cornea you damage some endothelial cells and then if you use a high phaco power for very hard cataracts uh, that high ultrasonic power the heat generated it uh, damages the endothelium then long surgical time then continuous phaco mode that is more devastating high vacuum and irrigation settings uh, very hard cataract uh, divide and conquer technique less viscoelastic use anterior chamber phaco technique pre-existing corneal degenerations like Fuchs contaminated irrigating fluids and gel they all damages they all lead to corneal endothelial loss and you have this striate keratopathy now here we are showing you the second patient um, and you can see that the central cornea is opaque and swollen and there are more decimate folds than the previous patient anterior chamber details are not very clear they are hazy so our second patient has got moderate striate keratopathy now this can occur due to any of the above mentioned risk factors um, and such corneal edema usually takes more than two weeks to resolve and uh, needs hypertonic saline drops along with the routine topical steroid and antibiotic uh, one hourly drops as a medical treatment so you have to give those hypertonic drops and they will drag the water out of the cornea and uh, the endothelial cells uh, they will resume their function and they will also clear the cornea but it will take time and you should also educate the patient that don't worry you will get the desired result but after two weeks and now here we are showing you the third patient now in this patient there is marked corneal edema you can see the striations just like a sunflower cataract 360 degree iris details are hazy there is a diffuse corneal edema numerous decimate folds and microcystic now if you see here microcystic epithelial bullae as well now this is a very serious uh, severe striate keratopathy and this picture is very similar to pseudo fake bullous keratopathy and if not promptly treated it can proceed towards the irreversible endothelial decompensation and bullous keratopathy and may need corneal transplant so prompt diagnosis and urgent treatment is the rule in such cases
most probably this patient uh, may have got uh, pre-existing corneal disease as well as a uh, phaco emulsification in a very hot cataract uh, can lead you to this picture now what's the treatment you have to give one hourly topical potent uh, steroids drops uh, hypertonic drops one hourly cycloplegics as well as anti-glaucoma if iop is also raised because you may have raised intraocular pressure and also for short duration like for two weeks systemic steroids one milligram per kilogram for two weeks can also prevent its progression towards the irreversible stage but cornea is a very resilient structure and mostly most in most of the cases the corneal edema resolve within a month or two in such marked striate keratopathy so you should be hopeful now how to avoid this condition this keratopathy you have to be a very good surgeon you have to use as much as viscoelastic as possible you have to use good quality viscoelastic you have to use phaco chop technique rather than divide and conquer technique you have to perform in the back phaco in pulse or burst mode diagnose pre-op corneal diseases and not attempt phaco in every hard case ECCE is as good as FACO in a very hard cataract if performed expertly. So I hope and now that's the condition of that severe bullous keratopathy after 3 days the edema has resolved with aggressive therapy. So I hope you can now diagnose and treat striate keratopathy after watching this video. Thank you very much and subscribe if you like my videos.